Hello, my name is Ye Qian. I'm from the National University of Singapore.、Uh, I'm here to share about our work, Paper Touch, tangible interface through paper craft and touchscreen devices. There are two things we all familiar and love: paper and touchscreen. Paper has been around us for centuries. We use it to draw down our ideas, doodle on it when we are bored, and fold origami creatures. It is a versatile medium of expression. Meanwhile, touchscreen devices offer us an entire digital world to explore, which we can conveniently access with just a little tap. So, what happens when we bring these two things together for tangible interaction? In this presentation, we will share our exploration and journey of developing Paper Touch. Paper Touch is an approach involving paper-based interactive structure that triggers touch events on touchscreen devices. Which then responds with digital feedback such as sound or visual. Underlying each paper touch mechanism is a simple switch, which is made from conductive trays. To get how paper touch works, we need to start with touch screen. They use competitive sensing to detect when we touch them. This measure our finger change the screen's electrical charge, signaling a touch. Early study find ways to pick up those touch signals on extension interface through conductive traces. Building on this method, we develop paper touch switch that split a conductive trace into two parts. One part we call screen electrode is held in contact with the touch screen. The other part, which is ground electrode, is connecting to the device ground bus. We find a way that could use device ground bus instead of bare skin touch to trigger the touch events on screen. We then hack a plug of the device charging port that explodes only the ground connection. Starting from the core unit, we further develop four different configurations. By combining them with different quality of paper, we have managed to turn straightforward touch inputs into a range of Complex interactions. Paper goes beyond our switch designs, offer a broad range of interaction and expression. Therefore, an, another important part of this research was understanding and exploring the materiality of paper. This is where it gets interesting. Play and hands-on with paper. So next, we will highlight some important feature of paper as well as the craft techniques around it. And demonstrate how we make use of them for building tangible interaction through applications. Paper comes in different weights, different thickness of sheets influence what we can build, and how the tactical experience it offers. By making use of such qualities, we design a paper piano keyboard that control a digital music instrument web page. We use 220 GSM paper to make the keys and the springs for satisfying press. While the U shape under the key is 140 GSM to ensure they properly touch the switch beneath. The connection, or we call paper wires, used 120 GSM paper for their ability to bend, and the outer shell was made from 400 GSM paper, giving the keyboard a solid structure. Paper's appearance and texture can hint at how to interact with it. We then develop an interactive storybook called "The Life of Frog," which showcases the journey of a frog from hatching to maturity. A series of delicate paper prompts made of colorful paper and different techniques were placed on the top of a tablet device. For each interaction, we design paper signifier that. Carries specific meanings alongside animation that match the paper prompts. For instance, lifting a paper flower to see frog eggs underneath, brushing the paper grass make the tadpoles swim out, touching the paper lotus trigger a dragonfly to appear, getting caught by the frog, pushing a lily pad makes a growing frog leap out beneath from the rock. We explore different crafting and making techniques with paper, turning it into parts of an interface.
then using slots and joins to put multiple com components together. For example, we use cardboard to create a playful coin bank called Lucky Bear. We place a phone inside a cardboard case, using its screen to show animations. We can interact with Lucky Bear in a few ways. Pinch its ear to see the little kid face, drop a coin to trigger a paper flap inside and activate the slot machine, or pull the arm to start the slots spinning. We have programmed a web page to respond to these physical interactions. There are more interesting applications, and we also provide source files for those who are interested to try them out. So please check our paper for more details. For the last part of this presentation, I want to focus on the design dimension emerging from our explorations. Paper Touch can support both continuous input and event basic inputs. We made 13 interactive paper mechanisms, then reflect on we or we built. Surprisingly, most interactions use event based mechanism. We find ourselves attracted by using the quality of different types of paper and crafting techniques to support rich interaction through event based mechanisms. As designer, we lean on the materiality of paper for tangible interaction. From gentle touch to forceful interaction, these mechanisms span a spectrum, spectrum from mechanical to material. Paper touch systems are composed of paper structure and touchscreen devices. Through our exploration, we have explored th three ways they can come together for design hybrid interfaces. In a side-by-side, -side, paper and touchscreen work independently yet corporately, like the piano keyboard. Paper serves as a tangible extension to control the web page while keeping the sound effect of the touch device. With a encapsulate, the touchscreen device becomes a part of the interface physical structure. Like we demonstrated in the Lucky Bear, we framed a part of the screen as the bear's face, synchronizing the animated expression with the interaction around the physical cardboard body. For Blend, as shown in the Life of Frog, paper prompts and its input were affixed on the touchscreen device as a diorama of a pond ecosystem. They mutually enrich each other to create a coherent experience. Paper touch system function by triggering touch events on the touchscreen devices. This means different paper mechanisms can interact with a wide range of software platforms like existing software applications, rapid prototyping tools, and coding a new software from scratch. The switches of paper touch may seem simple, but working with paper's complexity was a real challenge for us. So in the paper, we annotate all the figures, providing design tips and tricks we discovered during the material exploration to make it easy for others to understand and replicate. To close this presentation, we introduce Paper Touch approach that integrate paper and touchscreen device to design hybrid interfaces. We elaborate the working principle and share our journey of material exploration. We remake the everyday material around us, paper and touchscreens, as partner in design that bring out the best of each other. Thank you all for listening, and I want to thank my co-author Zheng Zhou, Han Bo, Yan Qingquan, and Clement. And we are looking forward to any discussion, so please feel free to reach out.